but you just typically it helps the hardest part is and there you have it sometimes you've got either no local hockey shop you want a higher quality sharpening than the local shop can provide, or maybe you just want a high quality sharpening with all the convenience of owning the Sparks without spending a whole bunch of money up front on a machine like that. With the adoption of removable runners, sharpening skates through the mail might make sense for you. Before I get into this video, I wanna mention that this is not sponsored, and I don't currently have a paid affiliation to the company that I'll go on to mention later. I did get to try this subscription service for free, which was awesome. However, I had no obligation to make a video, positive or negative. Thankfully, my experience was super positive, and that's why I decided to record. I'll give a little bit more info on how I found this company later in the video. As it turns out, getting your skate sharpened in the mail is incredibly convenient. If you don't already know from other videos, I own a Sparks machine and I'm coming up on about 200 sharpenings through that unit after owning it for two and a half years. And let me tell you, grabbing your blades out of your mailbox is even more convenient than having a sharpener right in your house. I found Sharp Skate Club through a Reddit post after one user was complaining that they couldn't find a quality sharpening in their area. I've been wanting to try a mail service myself to test out a quality flat bottom V sharpening before I went and invested the full $60 in one of the Sparks grinding rings. Through this personal need, I contacted Derek at Sharp Skate Club and was placing my first order shortly thereafter. The quality of the sharpenings was top notch, the edges were even, I checked, and the runners that I got were LS3s. So they had a similar amount of steel to what I was using and similar profile. Thus, there was no weird period of getting used to something completely different. Shipping was super fast and provided by USPS. There are several tiers based on your specific needs, and this service worked great for me to try out several flat bottom V sharpenings before investing in a Sparks grinding ring. I won't be continuing the service because I have the Sparks, but for my use case, this was absolutely awesome. For someone looking for something super convenient that maybe doesn't have the number of skaters or doesn't play often enough to justify a Sparks, this is a great viable option. The quality beats what I could get locally for sure. This isn't a true downside, but there is one thing to be cognizant of. Before you're done with your first set of runners, you'll need to go online and place an order accordingly for your second pair so that they arrive by the time you're done with your first pair. When the second box arrives, you swap the old steel for the new steel, place the prepaid label that's included in the second box on the first, slap some tape on there, and it's right back in the mailbox for your return. As long as you place your orders accordingly, I think this service would work well for most people. Earlier in the video, I mentioned how I would talk about how I found Sharp Skate Club in the first place. The truth is that I was about to start experimenting with a business like this on my own. When I was Googling for competitors, that's how I found the Reddit post originally. As I sharpen more and more skates for the people I play with, I realized that there's definitely a need for more convenient and higher quality sharpening, at least in our area. I reached out to Derek on Instagram and he was nice enough to make time for a pretty lengthy phone call. I got to ask a ton of questions and was super thrilled to talk to an entrepreneur in this space. Ultimately, I decided against entering into direct competition. He's got a good start, a great product, and I'm actually gonna start testing another idea that I had in this space instead. This project is about crowdsourcing ice time to promote better open hockey. If this is something that interests you, I'll be talking about this new project, Rink Split, in my next video.